returning the dead to their final resting place. Caskets containing the skulls of their ancestors finally being given back to the Sami people by the Swedish state after being taken from graves in the 1950s to be picked over for research. While this gesture may heal some wounds, new ones are being opened up, as the government is accused of failing to properly deal with a climate crisis that threatens the Sami way of life. Much of the, of the wealth that Sweden has, has built on is built on Sami ground. The first thing is to, to, to face the, 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 the history of colonization. What, what Sweden as state has made, done to, to, to my people. Just a few kilometres inside the Arctic Circle, the town of Jokmok is a centre of Sami culture in Sweden. Scientists say the Arctic is warming up twice as fast as the average global rate, putting the Sami on the front lines of climate change. It's being felt particularly keenly in ancient forests like this, where lichen growing on the ground provides food for reindeer, an animal now facing mass starvation. Thousands have died despite their herders' efforts to feed them by hand, while melting ice sheets have cut off their migratory routes across the Arctic. Sami reindeer herders say the situation is made worse by the disappearance of the old forests, replaced by plantations grown for logging by big business. Land that we've had for thousands of years has been given over to the control of others. That risks our people's culture being weakened or ceasing to exist altogether. Sweden has taken action to meet other climate pledges, including the creation of wind farms and hydroelectric plants. Today Sweden is placing almost all of their windmill parks up on Sami territory, just explo exploiting it again, destroying it again making our lands into these huge industrial parks. Sweden's environment minister refused to comment on our report. Struggles between the Sami people and the Swedish government go back for centuries. The climate crisis has pitted them against each other again. It's a dispute that must find common ground swiftly if the Sami way of life and the Arctic as we know it are to survive. Paul Rees, Al Jazeera, Lapland, Sweden.